Hello, Hare Krishna. So I'll show you how to reduce the uh, long running thread. It's pretty long, right? So first thing you do is keep the sacred point at the top and you put it on. So you put it on, keeping this at the top and you stretch it. So stretch it now, where up to what point? Your reference point could be your, the bone. For me, that's what it is, the lower bone there. And when you have that, that's where you join these two edges together. So, and then what you have is, this is the axis that you want to reduce. So for purpose of explanation, what I'll do is I'll label this number one, number two, and number three, right? So we have three things. Now, first thing you do is rotate number three, right? You just curl it, curl it, curl it, curl it. As you can see, it becomes tighter. And when he has done that, now you bring it close to number two, but you have to release number two, keeping everything in tight. Don't release number one. So you just have to hold number one and release number two from your, with your thumb and as you, and at the same time s s tighten it and continue to spin so that will jump on to number three as you can see it's it's getting it's rolling up on to number three and when you have that done at the end what you do is just put a knot of number two and number three and then at the end, you have leftover, right? Let go of number one, and now you tie it number two and three. So on number three, I'll just get the edges, just separate them, right? And so you have two edges. And then what I'll do is put number three in between. And I'll just tie them in the between that. There are other ways of putting a knot, it's your preference. The idea is to knot it so it doesn't fall apart or become loose. And when you've done that, then it should be fine. It should stay as this. And don't worry about coming off. One knot is all it takes. You don't need to do two or three knots because it's pretty strong. And that's about it.